Hello guys, welcome to number 1 e channel Mystiques of World. I hope you all are doing well and today's video is gonna be about top 8 tips to commit the perfect crime so let's get right into the video. Every year in virtually every country, crimes go unsolved and sometimes undetected. When someone commits a crime of this type it is called a perfect crime. Here you can learn 10 tips to commit the perfect crime. I'm sure it doesn't need to be said, this is not meant as a reference for criminals, but rather as an entertaining look at crime and detection. 1. DNA DNA is the surest way to prove you committed a crime. It is absolute imperative that you do not leave any DNA behind you and that is very difficult. The best solution to this is to commit your crime in a place that is likely to have a lot of DNA from strangers. For example, a park, a mall, anywhere that a lot of people tend to gather. Finding your DNA will be like finding a needle in a haystack. 2. Relationship The large number of crimes committed are committed by someone close to the victim. The police know this well and they know who to question. Your best bet here is to pick someone as random as the victim. This is especially true if murder is your crime of choice. Don't be tempted to commit your crime against someone you only know in passing, it must be a total stranger. 3. Proximity You don't want to travel so far that you can be connected because you took a trip just far enough that you are outside of the main area of interest to the police. You also don't want to be on the road for hours before the crime as you may become tired, or after the crime as you may still be on the streets when the big investigation begins. 4. Type of crime Chose your crime carefully. For example, you are almost certain to get caught if you try to rob a bank. Chose a crime that can be committed in the early hours of the morning or that can be done very discreetly during the daytime. 5. Evidence Most criminals are caught because they try to hide the crime, what they should have been doing is trying to hide any connection they have to the crime. It doesn't matter if the police know the crime happened. If your crime involves a gun or weapon of some kind, use it and drop it. Leave it at the scene. If you follow point number 7 this will not be a problem. If you kill someone, leave the body there. Do not touch the body at all. Do not move the body and do not try to hide the body. And just in case you haven't understood that last part, that includes using a vat of acid. If you have stolen something, you need to get rid of it as quickly as possible and if it is money, don't start spending up large you will draw attention to yourself. 6. Timing Timing is everything. The best time to commit a crime is in the very early hours of the day when most people are asleep. If you do follow this instruction, remember that you need to look like you are not out of place on the street. That means no full face coverings. The selected time is important when you come to purchase your tools. 7. Tools. First off, you need good thick gloves. The thin ones are not good enough as they can split and it is possible to leave fingerprints if they are sufficiently thin. Shop out of town and shop in large department stores where you are less likely to be remembered. Remember, very common brands only. You must pay in cash and you must destroy or any receipts. After the crime is committed, Destroy everything you bought as quickly as you can and don't do it in an obvious way, like having a bonfire in your backyard when you have never done so before. One tip, if you do get arrested, this doesn't mean you have failed to commit the perfect crime. If this happens, do not speak. The police need evidence to convict you, if you have done the job right, there won't be any. Did you ever commit any crime? Tell me in comment section. Thanks for watching our videos. Rush to complete the chant by clicking like, subscribe and share button.